So my primary interest is on energy balance and glucose metabolism. Mm -hmm. uh, and sort of as an extension of previous work that was done with my mentor, Matthias Choke, uh, I have uh, really dug into the non-canonical actions of glucagon biology, especially as they pertain to uh, energy balance and where fat is stored and how it's released and used. Uh, and then also uh, we've stumbled upon some interesting effects on uh, glucose homeostasis. Um, and uh, it's been known for a very long time that glucagon uh, stimulates a release of glucose from the liver uh, and that it brings uh, fasting levels of blood glucose back to normal. Uh, however, uh, and, and so it's been thought of as a counter-regulatory hormone to insulin. Uh, however, we found that in addition to doing this, it also enhances insulin's action. So glucagon for, th for diabetes has been therapeutic in uh, sort of a rescue role. Uh, so many type 1, di oh, type 1 diabetics uh, rely on insulin because their bodies don't make their own. Uh, and they need uh, to supplement uh, exogenous or uh, pharmaceutical insulin. Uh, after a meal or just prior to a meal to clear the glucose, that, the blood sugar that accumulates. Um, however, if they give themselves too much insulin, uh, the blood glucose levels drop dramatically and they can rescue this effect by giving a, a counter-regulatory dose of glucagon. Uh, so, and, and glucagon has been used in this therapeutic role for, for decades now. We have recently uh, found that uh, glucagon action stimulates uh, fat mass loss, uh, and uh, and so therefore might be a useful therapeutic in uh, an obese setting or even in metabolic syndrome as a whole. Next steps are uh, really to hone in on this uh, insulin potentiating role, uh, to look for mechanisms, uh, so those cell signaling pathways uh, that are contributing to the potentiation of insulin action. Uh, because glucagon still carries this, uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, activity such that it increases blood glucose. So in someone with uh, impaired glucose tolerance uh, or who may become diabetic or already is diabetic, uh, the last thing we want to do is further exacerbate that disease state. So if we can use a downstream uh, component of glucagon signaling that potentiates insulin action but doesn't raise blood glucose, then we have a very viable therapeutic.